Hey guys, Motorcar Not here, and today I'm going to be discussing the VW TSI timing code problems with these engines. There's a few things you got you can check, and it can probably cure your timing related problem, valve timing problem, valve timing codes, probably 99% of them. And you may ask, okay, those timing code problems, uh, what does it do? What are the symptoms? Well, the engine's going to run rough. Your EPC light may be blinking. You may have crazy misfiring. The engine may start up, run good, then stall, or, or just shake like crazy. And those, those are the symptoms of when the timing is off, the timing is not being controlled by the computer, or you have failed components like I just mentioned. All right, so I'm going I'm to show you with this example of a scrap motor that I have here. Uh, the things that fail on these engines. Now, if you have codes P016, P0, I'm sorry, P0016, P0017, a P0341, a P0011, and P00A, like these right here, you can stop this if you want. All right? 99% of the time, it's going to be the... Um, Failure of one or all of these components. All right, so these engines rely heavily on oil. Oil pressure, uh, everything is controlled by oil, right? So now, if you can imagine, well, the number one thing, you, if you have any kind of uh, valve ignition, I mean, uh, valve timing codes or valve timing problems, you got number one thing is check the oil. Make sure your engine oil is clean. Make sure it's at the proper level. That's the easiest thing you can do, okay? Because that'll affect everything, all right? So things that fail on these is you have an oil control valve here. You got your plastic cover here. There's an oil control valve, right? There's a special tool. I have all the videos. Um, I can link them, or you can just search my channel for all the videos on VW, and you'll find how to replace these and how to take them out. This is an oil control valve that'll give you any of those codes, okay? And you see this one with the little plunger right here? This one has failed. So if yours ha has problems and you have that, that's sticking out like that when it's supposed to be like this one, you see how it's nice and flush? And this one is sticking out. This failed and now you know Hopefully that'll cure your problem. Now, there is a, a cam sensor on the of a valve cover that never goes bad. So you, you might think high hopes that's gonna that's gonna you know 99% of the times it never goes bad. Okay, unfortunately it's easy to replace, but it never goes bad. Okay, so it, that code could be related to the oil control valve. Now, this is a cam bridge that that you know it's a little su support that has oil that controls the um, oil flow to the uh, oil control valve. Now, when you take this off, this is number two. When you take this off, I have videos on how to replace this too. All right, in the back over here is gonna be a screen. You see over here, this one doesn't have the screen. But more importantly than that, you see that little check valve ball? That ball, once the screen blows out, that ball is not far too behind. And when that does blow out, you're going to lose all types of oil pressure. And that's going to give you major oil, I mean, timing, valve timing codes. Okay? So if you're replacing this one and this one, or if you're checking this one and it's good, and you're having these codes, you got to take this off and make sure that that ball is in there. And another problem is... It, that connects right in here. Uh, and when when um, that spring, when that little um, screen breaks off, the pieces can go get stuck and enlarged in here. And it goes all the way through to this side, all right, where the um, vacuum pump sits, where the uh, high pressure fuel pump. And you would have to blow it out and check. It's just a nightmare to do that if, if that's the problem because that can disrupt the oil flow, just basically like a collapsed artery in the human. 
you know, you, that's not a good thing. Well, it's the same thing with this, with these little arteries that they have. They have to have proper flow, or you're going to have all kinds of crazy codes relating to the timing when it's just that little mechanical piece that broke off. All right? But more importantly is the ball. If that ball is missing, that ball went somewhere. Usually the ball can't go all the way through. So when you take it off slow, you got to be careful. It may be right there hanging on the cam bridge, and you could just take it out with a magnet and the little spring that's behind that ball, okay? And then just take it out, unless it's going to drop in, then you would have to take off the oil pan to fish it out. So that's number two. Number three is the, the tensioner, the time and chain tensioner, all right? That time and chain tensioner, this is the old one. This one happens to be a rare good one, but doesn't matter. If you have this in there, you got to replace it immediately. The new one doesn't have this collar on there. And again, I have videos explaining what happens. These things strip out. This collar is holding a little, a little piece of metal that has teeth on it that grabs on those teeth, and they strip out. And it goes all the way in. So when the car shuts off, all right, it has no pressure. You know, it's not supposed to go all the way in. It goes all the way in, and the chain can jump. The chain jumps, or if the chain doesn't jump and it's just very, very sloppy, the, the cams are going to be out of timing, and guess what? It's going to give you a timing code. Usually it makes noise. Sometimes it doesn't make noise. But these three components themselves, let's say you check this one. You have the new one in there that doesn't, it's, I show, like I said, it, has a, um, it doesn't have a band here. It's a completely different one. Watch my video on that. If that's good, the cam bridge is good, and the oil control valve is good, all right, 99% of the problems are taken care of. It could be the oil pump. The oil pump, a lot of times, um, the shaft that drives the oil pump, okay, uh, it, has, it has plastic material on the, on the uh, sleeves, and they can shave off, go into the uh, oil sump pan, all right, and get sucked up. Uh, and block the oil pump screen, and that blocks the oil pressure, and that can give you valve timing codes too. But that one is, I would say, very rare. I did, uh, I don't know, about 100 of these already, maybe more. I would say two or three with the oil pump pickup screen. So that's how rare that is. And this, is, this applies to the Audi 2.02. The Audi has a little bit different head design, but it's basically the same, the same block and the same head. Everything is basically the same. All right? So those are the three major problems um, and that can cause all those timing codes. All right? Yes, the, the, uh, the cam sensor code, let's say if that cam, the wiring is bad or the sensor is full with oil, sometimes I've seen that. It can short out, and it could be that sensor. You could luck out, you know, but like I'm saying, most of the times it's not that sensor. And that should save you a lot of headaches when you're dealing with valve timing codes. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help everybody as much as I can. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.